What was most shocking to me were the sheer numbers. Uh, between 1.6 and 2.8 million youth on the street at any given time. I was shocked to hear how young some of the kids are that are running away. Before I started volunteering, I always thought that um, being homeless or being a runaway is a choice, but after some of the stories and the calls that we take, it's really not a choice. Sometimes you just have to get away from a bad situation. The mis misconception that feels easiest to be led astray by is that that these are just bad kids, that they just take off for no reason, and if they would just go home and listen to their parents, um, everything would be okay. Kids who run away from home are just being defiant. You know, they're just not willing to listen to their parents, or their parents aren't letting them get what they want. Oh, they're just running away because they're bad kids. They just don't want to be at home. They're rebelling against their parents. That runaway youth were troublemakers that kind of put themselves in the situation that they found themselves in. I think most people assume homeless people are on drugs or are criminals or are you know, emotionally unbalanced or whatever. When you add a youth component to that stereotype, then they think, oh, well, they're gang members or they're somehow violent or whatever. When they see a young person who's, who's on the street or maybe they're in prostitution. So there's a layers and layers of stereotypes that people assume about homeless youth. Uh, the reality of the situation is that a lot of youth run away from home because they're being physically abused. They're in unsafe situations. Um, or they're looking for another outlet to feel heard. If there's things going on at home that they can't even handle because things are dangerous for them there, it's not safe for them. The more of these stories that you listen to, the more apparent it becomes that, you know, sometimes kids just don't feel they have any other option but to leave home, and in fact, often don't have any other option. What comes true when you're on the phone with some of these people is they're not leaving for fun. Most of them, you know, there is a streak of independence that I want to leave home because I'm you know, 17 and have all the answers. I mean, that happens, but the, the reality is, is that they've been scared and now they have knowledge and now they know the pluses and minuses of being home a little bit more clear and they're ready to come home. You get a sense of the more, more than the stereotype that these are people that just want to feel support and secure. Mm -hmm.